Game show host legend and animal activist Bob Barker has died. Barker had a really incredible career here in Hollywood. He hosted The Price is Right for more than 35 years on CBS and even appeared opposite Adam Sandler in Happy Gilmore. Yeah, Sam Rubin now takes a look back at both his career and his legacy. And now here's the star of the new Price is Right, Bob Barker. For 35 years, Bob Barker hosted The Price is Right. If you like excitement, you have come to the right place. His run as host started in 1972 after working several years in both radio and television. It's time to play Truth or Consequences. Noted television executive Ralph Edwards discovered Bob Barker and put him in the game show Truth or Consequences. On December 21st, 1956, at five minutes past 12 noon, <laughs> he called me and told me that I was the host of Truth or Consequence. His success on that show led to his biggest hit. The show where contestants from our studio audience play pricing games for big, big prizes. Why don't you play right along there at home? The price is right. The actual retail price of that boat is $450 and I've Barker not only hosted the show, he also helped run things behind the scenes as an executive producer. I controlled the show completely, and no one sat in the booth and decided, well, let's take this out and let's keep this. I knew what was funny, and, and, that, 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 that's, and it was there. These people have taken leave of their senses. On the show, Barker provided many memorable moments. I know you truly love me, but you don't really love me this much, do you? That's the lady in the tube top. Her name was called Come On Down. She jumped to her feet, began jumping up and down, and both of them came out of the tube top. She came on down, and they came on out. Barker also hosted the Miss Universe and Miss USA pageants for over 20 years. Always a devoted animal rights activist, Barker once refused to host a pageant when he learned that fur coats were part of the prize package. This is Bob Barker, and I'm so happy that all of you on the KTLA Morning News have been spayed or neutered. During his career in broadcasting, Barker won 19 Emmys and a Lifetime Achievement Award. He was also inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame. I made a living making other people funny. I want to thank you very, very much for inviting me into your homes for the last 50 years. And please remember, help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. He was a master. Tonight, celebrities are remembering Bob Barker on social media. Host Tom Bergeron shared memories on Instagram, saying he and Barker would trade off using the same dressing room when he hosted Hollywood Squares. Bergeron says, quote, when I asked him to read the manuscript of my book, he offered to write a blurb for it. Many thanks, Bob. Rest in peace. Also, actor Rob Schneider shared this memory. He says, one of the nicest things I ever heard in show business was Bob Barker saying, I moved to Hollywood to be an actor, and the only person who <laughs> let me do it was Adam Sandler. Happy Gilmore star Adam Sandler honored Bob Barker today, and you're going to hear what he had to say. That's coming up in our next half hour. Plus, how the current host of The Price is Right, Drew Carey, is remembering yeah. Barker tonight. It's all in a live report that's coming up on our KTLA 5 News at 10.30. Yeah, it's hard not to look back on your life when you were growing up. Right. And somehow he, he was, fit in there or He was always on. Oh, and that voice, that look, mm. it's amazing. Kai, it's great, no yeah. doubt you, was, you watched him when you were growing up. It's great. Generations of us. Now at 10.30, a memorial on the Hollywood Walk of Fame honoring the memory of beloved TV host and animal activist Bob Barker. His publicist says that Bob Barker died today in his Hollywood Hills home. He was 99 years old. That's amazing. Fans and friends are remembering the longtime host of The Price is Right. Let's go to Jennifer McGraw. She joins us live from Hollywood. She's got more on that for us. Jen? Rick and Sandy, just a couple months shy of his 100th birthday. All throughout the day, we've seen fans come out to Hollywood and, of course, to his star on the Walk of Fame and the wreath that lays here to take a picture. The Price is Right, come on down. I remember that voice. The decades-long TV sensational host bringing fans entertainment and joy from across the globe, now leaving so many brokenhearted. I was like, man, that's sad. 
I always wanted to meet him in person. And that's the thing they say. Bob Barker always had time for his fans. Fans loved him. He loved them. He was always interacting. He was always very nice to everybody. And he would talk to the audience in between commercials. Longtime publicist and friend Roger Neal says Barker was the same great person on and off the screen. It's why the world loved him. And I think when you connect with somebody and you're in their living rooms every night or every day for 50 years, you know, you feel like you know that person. Social media posts, of course, pouring in. Drew Carey, who took over for Barker, saying it's a very sad day for the Price is Right family and animal lovers around the world. There hasn't been a day on set that I didn't think of Bob Barker and thank him. I will carry his memory in my heart forever. I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. And from an unforgettable scene in Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler tweeting, the man, the myth, the best. Such a sweet, funny guy to hang out with, adding, thanks for all you gave us. And from Bravo's Andy Cohen with Bob Barker's lifelong message. It's a great day to remember to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Rest in peace, Bob Barker. The legend will truly be missed by so many. He made you feel good watch television. It was fun television. But will live on through the hearts and TV shows from decades to come. Him saying goodbye and that shot right there, which was on the last episode he ever taped, to me today is very appropriate mm -hmm. because uh, he did say goodbye to us today. And his publicist tells me Bob loved watching television. He loved comedies, especially, obviously, The Price is Right. And a notable fact, Two and a Half Men. We are live in Hollywood. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you.